everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And we're looking at the middle class too, the actual audition portion of the main dancer crew. Um, this, the whole choreo selection threw me for a loop because I thought Choom formatted it to where you would have um, the people that were selected at the end. But what I saw at the end, so the last group that went was so the like was so starkingly lower on the expectation that I was expecting from what I saw in the middle. So I don't know if that choreo was actually picked or not. Um, I may, there's a chance like right in the middle of this video, I just may have to look it up just if I can't pick up on whose choreo it is because I really feel like I'm going in blind. Um, but you know, enough of me talking. I haven't seen who took main dancer for this or anything. So I am very much looking forward to it. Let's go. Okay, so second middle group. This it looks like we have YGX and oh, who's yellow? I forgot who's yellow. Alt Alte, I think is a yellowish. I think right. Here we go. Oh, this is beats. Uh, this is B two B's choreo. Okay. Oh, we're gonna see it again. Energy wise, I really like my group on the right. I mean, my, my, my group on the left has really nice moments, but they're not on the same page. They are there, but there's a little bit too much disconnect from them in the more beginning section of this. So taking a look here, I'm gonna vote. I think this was this was B2B's choreo because they. I remember that they did that. Um, looking here, I will say my group over here, their energy at the beginning was so captivating. It was really nice. I think they dropped some of their uh, some of their grooves, but I think they struggled in the choreo selections anyway. They struggled with looking close together anyway. Yeah. Now for that, I feel like they chose to go outside and then my group on the right actually switched. So I think it's interesting that they made that choice too. I do like the choice that they made of dropping the hands so you could focus on the legs. They kept the hands up while doing the legs and that could have taken away from the actual focal point of the leg movement. But. No, I don't know which one was the choreography. I don't 100% remember that. But how they dropped out of it. Do -do 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 -do. I really like the traveling from both groups here. Hey. Yeah, so their groove's really nice here. And I like the fact that they're matching. It's, it's, it's a vibe. I love it. I love it. Maybe it could just be, I will say, uh, my YGX group, they did a good job of, of staying in sync for that whole section. Now there, I feel like we're starting to lose a little bit of crispiness. Very strong. I would say my dancer right here, he's really strong in how he's executing the choreo. Like, it's really nice to watch. But it's honestly with Junsen, though, because it's a duo, I feel like Junsen's not pulling the energy that he needs to pull in order to match that because if they both hit it this way it would have been game over right but here i feel like they they're taking a different uh, slight posture shift where these guys are where it's more of a confident now i don't know whose timing was right there but it does i think i think it's like you're supposed to throw it and you grab it and you pull it away yeah. I'm gonna see it again. 
Mm. I just noticed here um, he was a little bit off on his on his traveling there in that moment. Let's look. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. So he's treating he's treating it going back, but it's not they're not swaying the same level of energy there because they're not really supposed to transition. Yeah, so what's interesting is uh, my guys over here are choosing to use the hips. They're using the upper body more. So it's actually kind of a battle of preference within how the grooves are, are happening. They're taking more of the hip drop. They're taking more of a chest. That's so interesting. So it's it's the battle of the it's the battle of where your pocket is. Their pockets in the hips. Their pockets to the chest. Um, and I think that's why it's coming across the way that it is. Which I used to think they're both clean. They're both they're both cleaner. Yeah. I honestly think there's just a disconnect for me. I think I don't think I've seen anybody do this little bit right here. I mean, I'd say they're holding on to it a little bit more. But the range of the baseball bat as you drop it is different that you're seeing from people. Uh, maybe Whedon Boys? Here we go. Mm. Hey. Yeah. Okay, I will say, um, one mil? One mil is really owning. They own that first one. I would say my, my groove to the right. It looks like they're marking certain grooves. Like they don't know how to sit in it. And I read, and I really empathize with that a lot. Five, six. Okay, so stiff, stiff, then you roll it through. Okay. All right. So out of the groups that I've seen so far, I think one million approached it the cleanest as a duo, um, which is my group on the left. So cleanliness, I think, is step one. Whenever you look at group, okay. So starting here, when you look at group choreography, cleanliness is the first thing when you like the general public shock value can come from how clean a routine is then secondly when you look at the nuances of the grooves that you want to choose or the musicality that you're choosing on top of your cleanliness and your timing is really what can make people want to stay captivated and invested in what you're doing so i think for me when you look at what you overcompensate for or what you um what's the word what you focus on whenever you are having to itemize the priorities of what you should be honing in when you're learning choreo or when you're executing choreo timing i think should be a bigger priority than i think they're making it of some of these groups i would say one mil they definitely made it a priority here and this definitely step standing out i do like what they're bringing here in the cleanliness side um Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. And I like they all switch, but if you take a look here, my group right here, they are just really not on the same page with how they're hitting it. It looks like they're not sure and they're not committing to the actual groove. These guys are both in it. They're investing in their groove here. But their timing was off because when I pause it, you notice they weren't on the same feet. And I like how they built it. That was nice. Yeah, then they choose to go more extroverted with their grooves, which is really nice. They even chose to let the head roll. I don't know if that was part of the choreo, but I really like it. A. Yeah, do 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 ba da da. Like there needs to be very clear rolling to the ba ba ba. And I feel like uh, my group on the right. I'm assuming the Sweden boys. It's just not. It just feels like they're doing content, but they're not investing in the full aesthetic of what it's supposed to be. I like the stiff, stiff, then the roll through. I'd say one mil. They're probably one of the first groups where I really saw that that's what the dynamic's supposed to be. They also match 
the energy of what they're supposed to do together. Also, this glide, that little glide around. There's that rant sound. One mill, they were one of the first groups where I actually heard that sound with that with that move, which was nice, bringing it around. I just think, I just think it looked like they were just trying to get through uh, versus investing a lot into trying to go for it. But look, they really popped off a lot more here which really so they're equal they're in equal standing now of the aggression that one mill was setting too and this was great but then they lose it again yeah it's just they're just not as crisp and clean and i think one mill cleaned it up a lot more the second time so did weedon boys but i think that weedon boys they it, they're not investing their full range of motion in this and they're not matching either my guy in the gray uh, he's not leaning into the groups as much as my guy in the tan is um, here. But these two are investing a lot of their energy here. Yeah, this Al Okay, yeah, that's one mil. So it's Alex there, and then Heen Song and Hae Song. Okay. Yeah. Grab it. The honestly, that's a tricky polyrhythm to do because you have like a smooth. A smooth footwork, but then you have to go stiff, stiff, and then you have to roll it through. That's mad tricky to do. So I really do like the choreography. The pull, pull, and then they hit, hit. So it's great moment. So whether it was whenever they presented it originally or what, but I really did like it. Yeah, I think just one of my guys, when they pulled it, uh, I think I think they really they really put more effort in that second run, um, but I would say they were consistent on both. So my vote would have gone to one mil if I had to compare the two. And then going back to the previous one, I would have picked YGX slightly over. I think it was all day they were against because um, because all day carried the the pocket in their chest when it's mostly supposed to happen in their hips because I believe B2B choreographed it, and that is the aesthetic or groove of the type of choreo that they brought to the table that worked well for the track. Who is this? This is Deacon and Gisok. So this, I believe, it's B2B versus Ambitious now, is what we're seeing. And I think B2B choreographed it. I'm still standing by that. I hadn't, I hadn't double checked. I'm going off of memory here. So if I was wrong the whole time, I'm sorry. But I really think this was B2B's choreo. Hey, yeah. All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Oh, where's his uh where's his baseball bat? Something happened to his baseball bat. Oh, oh. Mm. I would say with Ambitious, they are attacking it really well. But do I think it's, they're approaching it way too harsh in the beginning? I think just slightly. There it is. Okay, oh, slightly, okay, Ambitious was slightly off on that second run through. Okay, so let's talk. They both had core issues that, that happened. The first one is whenever you're doing an audition, yes, you get two shots, but part of whenever people are so close in nature to like who you would pick and who you would vote, um, it's, it's tricky um, because you may also look at consistency as well as a factor of who would be a main dancer, who can consistently bring about uh, the kind of captivation that you want a main dancer to have, um, which is why sometimes it's good to do multiple runs. So when you see here, the first problem with Gisa, he did not pick up his baseball bat. That's a pretty big, uh, now he held it down and he was still clean. And the energy, I love the energy that they set here, and I think, you know, they set it pretty well. And for here, they're taking a more, uh, they're taking more of a crump. Like a, ugh, ugh, like this kind of approach. Like it's more stiff in the chest in comparison to the looseness of the shoulders with the rock. 
And I like the fact that they're making these choices with the levels. I think it's fun. It's a nice risk. It reminds me of Subaco with their risks. But look at their arms, though. They are sacrificing cleanliness for the sake of being creative. And sometimes, I don't know if that should be your biggest priority. Replication. Prove yourself with a choreo given. And then when you get the opportunity as main dancer, you can make all the changes you want. Um... Over, yeah, so you just notice that you have Tarzan just throwing his arms away when you, you gotta, like, as a group, if it's Judas and Choreo, that factors into a two. Now, if it was just him going, that would be different, but it's not just him. He's with a partner. And I would say BTB's running into the exact same problem that they did the first time. He's giving more energy than he is. His body's a little bit too stiff. And they're not, um, like, they work great independently, but it's not working together like they're one of them is over articulating through the knees and one is smoothing through they're just those choices are small but they make a difference you know one of them's really letting his chest go and one of them's being really stiff even there i would say tarzan really threw his body a little bit more than um than jinwoo did there in that case they pick him up yeah big issue so he looks great doing this little part it's super cool but he doesn't have his baseball bat, right? But I love that he committed to it. And you bring it around. Okay, right, now here, take note, they dropped it on the ground and then they transitioned over. They hovered it and then they dropped it. So what uh, the issue that comes with hovering is positioning of how you're holding it. So a lot of them drop it as they melt down and then they sift through. So you're looking at making it it could be cheating a little bit if you have it hovered and then you drop it to go around because it's less to have to hold it in place but also though you run the risk of it not being the same angle when you both hover it so that's you know and then they lift and then they grab it. i like the fact that they actually took the risk they threw it and they grabbed it and took it around i do like that oh 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 yeah. The throw, I like that they're they're looking more refined here, which is nice. Yeah. So both groups are looking more together. I see that more of the dynamics from Ambitious than I did the first time. But the same, it's just more subtle in the problems. That was nice. I really like Jinwoo's interpretation, but it's not just Jinwoo. We're watching, watching Tarzan too, and they just weren't on as much of the same page as they could have been here. Bring it around. They also didn't hover it here. They waited, but but what ends up happening is like, look, the hardest thing is getting keeping that baseball bat still, and I don't think anybody kept it still effectively. <laughs> I would, oh, I would say out of anybody, Tarzan did. Um, and he grabbed it prematurely, my guy over here um, from B2B. He grabbed it prematurely, and that could that could also affect it. So honestly, out of the two, I would say Ambitious was more together, but they made, they made risks, and some of the risks uh, over um, kind of caused other key elements to kind of fall short. I would still, at this point, I would still vote 1 million. The, they were the most consistent with it um but yeah we have i think i have one more little one more little group to watch and then i'll make my final my final vote okay my last group we have just jerk and prime kings and it looks like we are down a member from prime kings i did something happen did somebody let me know something happened mm. Uh, the energy of Just Jerk is still really good. Um, I think that they're they're hitting it very aggressive, and it, 
and it feels like we're not able to enjoy the breaths of this kind of choreo. I know with Prime Kings, we're missing a member, and not only that, I really feel like he's exuding similar qualities that that we saw before um, with, when he did his set with his partner. Um, okay, so let's take a look back at that one. So, fun fact, before I reacted to this one, I went back to my previous reaction video just to make sure that I, I did say the right person choreographed this. That was bothering me this whole time because as much as I want to trust myself, sometimes I am wrong and I didn't want to be saying the wrong thing the whole time. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, so I do know, I'm confirming, I know for a fact this is B2B's choreo. Now we can now we can lay that to rest. I have full confidence in that. Now, so it's just starting from the forefront. I really like the energy that they're bringing. My, my dancer's on the left uh, for, from Just Jerk, but my dancer here, it really looks like he is so tense and locked up that he can't barely do anything. Yeah, even just as he steps, it just feels so muted. Right, but then when you see the extra version, it really makes Just Jerk stand out more. But they are also demonstrating not quite as clean footwork here as much. But they are making up for with a lot of their upper body, which is really nice. Yeah, so when you notice whenever you are, when you do end up over tensing your movement, what ends up happening is sometimes your timing gets off too. So that's why range is really important whenever you do train or you practice. Sometimes you, it's never, it's not good to always mark. Sometimes it is good when you're focusing on the music more so or making sure your timing is right. But part of your timing and refining it with multiple people is making sure everybody's executing it in the same range. I work with dancers, especially when you work with trios or really small groups like four or five people, it is very important that your range is in check just as much as it is just making sure everyone's on the right count because there's not as many people and it's it's easier to find those discrepancies between two people but also mega crews you can hide it a little bit better because you can probably get away with more simplistic choreo because of the number of people but also you would run into the same problem there and that is a category that mega crews can get judged on is the range of their motion is the range meaning the just the span the depth Depth, the angles are they all on the same page and the timing getting from point A to point B is that the same and I think that's a really big thing that a lot of these duos that I've seen they're just not on the same page on that I feel like they could now I like the fact they're super chill there that's really nice you know but I feel like uh, my guy from Prime Kings is just executing it in the same angsty tense way yeah, and I, I, I do feel like they are, they're, whenever they throw, they keep a rock, but it's like a locked-in rock. There's not any legato that's infiltrating, and B2B has really good legato dynamics they did put in here, even though they do struggle to look, uh, to be on the same page with their, uh, with how they themselves go through it. Um, but, I mean, they're, they're holding it down. Just Shirk's doing a pretty good job here. And then bringing it down, doom, 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 doom. Bringing it around, I would say his his bat got really off. I know you're supposed to keep it as a fixed point, and I would say he did a pretty good job of keeping it as a fixed point, but his dropped a lot. He also picked it and then dropped, so you, you it's really not as clean as it could be there. And But I like the fact you go, and he grabbed it and went away. I think Hulk just held on to it. Yeah, so I mean, that was a good start. I think it's really hard that you know it can be it can be very difficult to have to do it by yourself especially if you, this is not your forte that can feel very daunting as a representative of your crew like it feels like you're being fed like knowing that you're probably not gonna get picked because you're getting eaten alive is really what it feels like I like the dynamics of that I think that's a really good choice I know um, ambitious did that too that was a lot cleaner this time. Jester's really bringing a cleaner perspective here. Yeah, so if anything, the energy that they're matching can really set them apart and probably be one of the top two picks. Also, because of who they're next to, they are operating at an advantage that naturally people want to watch them, but also it makes them want to critique them more too. They can't get away with as much. 
bring it down. I will say that footwork could have been a little bit more refined. It felt like they just kind of consolidated or modified it to make it match them a little bit better, which sometimes you're able to do. I mean, as, with this challenge, I feel like some of them are able to take those types of risks. I know uh, Ambitious did, and some of it could have paid off for them, but I would say in this case, this worked for, it worked for Just Jerk because the focal point wasn't the footwork as much. The footwork enhanced it and made it more complex, but it was mostly going from the stiff into the, into the legato kind of transition. Now he kept it on the ground. It was much better. That was a solid run from Just Jerk there. That was really good. If I were to pick two groups um, to go again, I would pick Just Jerk and One Million out of everybody. I would say Ambitious is close in that regard too. But I think every everybody else, I think, had some pretty big discrepancies between the the individuals. Uh, so much so that it would make me like mm, it, it can be a bit of a turn off because if you're operating at it with two people, you have to be acting as one. I think for this challenge in particular. So those would be my people. I don't know who won this. Um, I will find out when I watch the concepts later because uh, I'm going to watch all those together even though I'm watching these audition portions uh, side by side. So I think this is super cool. I'm loving it. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I was helpful in some way. This one threw me for a loop this time. It helped me realize uh, don't rely upon the order of the video in order to determine whether or not uh, a routine was picked. I just got lucky up until this point. But I am very much looking forward to uh, the, the rest of the ones. I know some of them I know whose choreo was chosen, but that's not going to stop me from putting my own rank taste into it as well. Uh, and I am very much excited to see all of these turn into content video form i think it's gonna be super super cool uh but thank you again for watching and i'm excited for the discussions for this and i will catch you on the flip side bye